Howdy gang and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, I'm going to go over the chemicals that you need to maintain and care for your chlorine-based pool. It's really quite simple and there's fewer than you think. We we'll just try to keep it simple. So what do you say we check it out? Alrighty, before we get started, I wanna thank you again for watching. I wanna remind you to like this video if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please, please share my channel with everybody you know who owns a pool. Okay, so you have a pool, and you've walked into a pool supply company or store, and you see the rows and rows and shelf after shelf of pool chemicals, and you go, oh my gosh, I'm so confused. You know what? I've been there, but I'm grateful that the people that have taught me how to do pools and that I worked for really have helped me learn a lot. And then over my 20 years of doing pools, I've learned certain things that you need and certain things that you don't need. Most of the stuff you don't need, you'd be surprised at how few things you actually need to maintain your pool. Now, I'm going to caveat something for you. I am talking about a chlorine pool, a pool that you're using chlorine as a sanitizer. I'm not talking about a salt pool. Of course, salt pools are easy. The only difference is you add pool salt instead of chlorine tablets. But anyway, um, I'm gonna give you the short list of items that you need to have for your pool, and really the only list of items, the only items that you need for your pool, all right? So, what do you say we get started on that? Okay, so I'm gonna list these in order of kind of what I, how I break it all down, and then I'm gonna tell you about what they're used for, okay? So again, remember, we're talking about a chlorine pool, where you're using chlorine as a sanitizer for your pool. Okay, the first item that you're gonna want are some chlorine tablets. These are made by Easy Chlor. There's, um, there's another one made by, um, oh gosh, Pool Logic, that if you can find those, those are usually pretty inexpensive. But, you know, a good bucket of three inch stabilized chlorine tablets, okay? Those would go in a floater if you have a tablet floater. And again, you can see my video on that if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna put links to all the different videos I, rec I, I suggest here. So you could also put it in a deck chlor if you have a deck chlor. And again, I have a video on that. And then you could also use them in like an inline uh, rainbow chlorinator if you have one of those, okay? If you don't know what they are, don't worry about it, okay? So that's your chlorine tablets, all right? And that's used to sanitize your pool water, all right? All right, <clears throat> the next thing is soda ash. This is actually a tub, an old tub that I've cleaned out that used to have um, algaecide, in, I'm not algaecide, it used to have um, trichlor granules shock. But this is, these two items next here are in dealing with adjusting the pH of your pool without messing up the alkalinity of your pool. So, okay, so pay attention to that. These next two items have to deal with adjusting the pH of your pool without messing with the alkalinity of your pool, okay? If your pH is low, you're gonna want soda ash, <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> soda ash you can get in five pound, 10 pound, different things. Uh, they're very easy, it's easy to find, it's pretty cheap, okay? Soda ash is used to raise the pH of your pool, all right? If your pH is high, you're gonna want muriatic acid. This is a gallon jug of muriatic acid, okay? And muriatic acid is used to lower the pH of your pool, okay? Remember, both of these have to deal with adjusting the pH of your pool, okay? So we've got three items so far. Tablets, soda ash, muriatic acid. Three items so far, okay? Remember, soda ash and muriatic acid are used to adjust the pH either up or down, up for soda ash. If you want it up, use soda ash. If you want it down, use muriatic acid without affecting the alkalinity. Now, I did a video on just adjusting the pH of your pool water, and I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below as well, okay? The next two items I don't carry in my truck because, and here's why, because in Arizona and my experience with the pools that I do out here, now this is different in different parts of the country in different places, I've heard that and I've experienced it myself, but in Arizona, most of the time when the pH is high, the alkalinity is high. When the pH is low, the alkalinity is low in the pools that I do. So I don't use the next two items. But if you need to adjust the alkalinity of your pool without messing with the pH of your pool. You're gonna need two items, okay? So remember, we have three items so far, right? This is not algae destroyer, this is soda ash. I just put it in that tub, okay? You're going to wanna to get, if you're bicarbonate of soda and dry acid, all right? Remember, this is in dealing with alkalinity. 
The bicarbonate of soda is used to raise the alkalinity of your pool, okay? The dry acid is used to lower the alkalinity of your pool. So please keep that in mind, okay? So those are the next two items. So you have basically five items so far. Tablets, soda ash, muriatic acid, bicarbonate of soda, and dry acid, all right? Five items so far. Item number six, all right? And this is really important. Trichlor granules. This one is made by Easy Chlor. It's called granular algae out. <clears throat> Pool Season also makes one called Super Algae Destroyer. I've used both of them and I like them both equally and they've worked very well for me, okay? I use the tricolor granules for two reasons. Number one, if I need to get the chlorine level up quickly, all right? If I need to get it for some reason at a pool party or something's going on, I gotta get the chlorine levels up quickly, I can use a pound or two of this, all right? All right, the other reason I will use the algae out or the trichlor granules, is to deal with visible algae, black, yellow, which is mustard, or green algae, in order to help my pool fight and kill the chlorine, I mean the, the algae, okay? So I will use this again to raise the level of chlorine quickly in the pool if I need to, like after a pool party, okay? Or I need to deal with visible algae, all right? Okay, those are the trichlor granules. The next one, super critical. If you use this one and you do everything right, you will never need to use algicide. If you've not seen my video on alg algae and algicides and why you don't need them, please watch that. I'll put a link in the description below. I will also put a link in the description below, below about um, shock and the different kind of shocks, which will explain the trichlor. This is phosphate remover. The one that I use and I love, it's my go-to, it's made by Orenda Technology. It is called PR-10,000, okay? PR-10,000. You can find all of these online. You could probably find most of these, maybe not the Orenda. You can maybe find most of these at your pool supply store too, or maybe even a Walmart. I've seen some at Home Depot. I have not found this except at my suppliers, so you can go online and look for that. I know I found it online, okay? So these two things are what you're gonna to use to deal with phosphates. Phosphates, to me, are the biggest reason you're gonna get algae in your pool, as long as your filter and everything is running, all right? So this is to keep your phosphates down. Please watch my video on algae and algicides and why you don't need them, and also how I cleared my green pool. And I'll put links to all of those in below, below in the description, okay? All right, now, those are basically the only items you need. So we have one, two, three, four or five, because we have the two for alkalinity, six, seven. Folks, that is pretty much it. The only other item you may need on occasion, if you're doing a startup on your pool, all right, is cyanuric acid or stabilizer. This is cyanuric acid, okay? I tell people to use the cyanuric acid, which is also called stabilizer or conditioner, when you're doing a startup on your pool or for some reason you need to bring the stabilizer or the CYA level up a little bit on your pool. Too little of stabilizer and it's not going to be able to hold chlorine well. Too much stabilizer, too much cyanuric acid, and it's going to do the same thing. It's not going to hold chlorine. You'll have oversaturated the water molecules. So use this sparingly, okay? And again, I would tell people on this particular item, only get it as you need it. You don't need to keep this in stock. Understand with most of these things, you're gonna be using, using them regularly. And I'm trying to avoid you having to stick stuff in storage where after a certain amount of time, their potency can deteriorate, okay? Now, if you own a diatomaceous earth pool or pool with a filter that's diatomaceous earth, you're gonna need a bag of diatomaceous earth. This by far is my favorite, okay? This is a low dust DE filter powder made by a company called Cella Pool. All right, it really is, if you've dealt with DE and the powder, you don't want that stuff in your eyes, this is truly amazing. It is really low dust. So this is my DE. So you'd need a 10 or 25, this is a 24 pound bag. And I think you can get that online as well, all right? So, oh, one more thing. Back to the cyanuric acid. I'm gonna put a video up, I'm gonna put a link to a video I did on cyanuric acid and what you need to know about it in the description below as well. Now, 
The only other item that you might need is if you have a salt pool. If you have a salt pool, occasionally you're gonna need to add pool salt to it. And my suggestion on that is, if you have your salinity levels checked every three to six months, then just buy the amount that you need when you need it. So if you take your sample into the pool supply store and they say, uh, the water, and they say, oh, you're down X amount of parts per million on your salt, you just need to add salt, they'll give you how many bags or how many pounds you need. Just use it as you need. But again, those are the item. Again, really quick to review. Three inch chlorine tablets. And then in dealing with the, in dealing with the pH, soda ash to raise the pH, muriatic acid to lower the pH. Okay, the next two, alkalinity, bicarbonate of soda to raise the alkalinity, dry acid to lower the alkalinity, all right? Granular algae out or some form of trichlor granules to shock your pool or to help fight algae that's visible, including black algae. And see my video on that as well, all right? PR 10,000 or some form of phosphate remover. So you're not dumping algaecide in your pool and adding heavy metals like copper or silver to your pool and then having it absorb into your skin, okay? This will help control phosphates and prevent algae from breeding and growing, okay? Occasionally, this is an as needed cyanuric acid or it's also called stabilizer or conditioner. And then if you have a DE pool filter, diatomaceous earth, I recommend that one. And then we're just talking about for salt pools, occasionally you'll need salt. And that's it, folks. Oh, hey, one more quick thing with regards to pH and alkalinity. There are some products on the market that are called like pH up or pH down or alkalinity up or alkalinity down. I tend to stay away from those um, just because I like the simple stuff, the soda ash or the muriatic acid for pH and also the bicarbonate of soda and just the dry acid for alkalinity. Some of the other products, you, unless they're the actual product pure in that name, that's fine. But sometimes they have other stuff in them and you really don't need it. So I would stick with the basics and not worry about those fancy products. So there you have it, folks. That is really the list of the only chemicals you really need to maintain your pool. Now there's other newfangled things, ionizers and pool RX and things like that. I don't really have a lot of experience at. I'm one of those people that like to keep things really simple and that's about as simple as it gets. Remember the purpose of pool school was to teach you how simple it is to maintain your pool without overwhelming you, okay? I'm not a chemist, I'm not a, a chemistry major, but that is what I've learned and those work and those are the only chemicals you really need. If you keep your filter clean, all right, and your system is running, efficiently and long enough using these chemicals, you should never have to use any other chemicals in your pool to maintain a beautiful, clear pool. So gang, that is my video on the only pool chemicals you need. It's a pretty short list. I hope it made sense. Remember, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below this video, or you can always email me and my email address will occur, or it will show up right here at the bottom of the screen. It is, as always, Kenny, poolschool at gmail.com. Once again, Kenny, poolschool at gmail.com. Thank you again for watching. I hope it made sense. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And remember, until we meet again, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids and elderly people and your pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.